So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to take a look at a device that everybody seems to forget about. So stay tuned, I'll show you how to set it up. We'll do some tweak into some settings and at the end we'll put on a custom launcher. Stay tuned, it's time for streaming. So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. So everybody has their fire stick. Now people are going out and buying the ONN 4K streaming box from Walmart. It's 20 bucks. Yes, it's a great device. Everybody has, well, I shouldn't say everybody, but a lot of people have the Nvidia Shield. That's good if you're doing gaming, but if you're just streaming, then I don't know. To me, it just seems overkill. Do I have one? Yes, I do. And I use it a lot. So everybody's buying Amazon boxes, the cubes, and all, all different types of Android boxes. But the one device that everybody's forgetting about that still works really good is the TiVo Stream 4K. This device is still really good. I still have one hooked up to my TV, and I like it a lot. So let's go ahead and let's set this up. So right now, what we need to do is pair the remote. So we need to go ahead and press the little TiVo guy on our remote. Give that a few seconds so we can go ahead and pair it up. After your remote pairs up, then it's gonna come up and ask you where you are. So right now I'm in the United States, English, so I'm going to go ahead, click the OK button for United States. Next, it brings you to quickly set up your TV with your Android phone. I do not have an Android phone, so I'm going down and clicking on Skip. Next, it's gonna ask you set up your Wi-Fi network. Make sure you choose your Wi-Fi network Go ahead and type in the password and then we'll continue. Once you have typed in your Wi-Fi password, it's gonna go ahead and start connecting and ask you to please wait. Now make the most of your TV. So let's go ahead and click on that enter button and let's sign in. Here on the screen, you're going to go ahead and use your Google account. Put this in here, put in your Gmail account. And then it's gonna ask you on the next step to go ahead and put your password in. I'm going to go ahead, set that up now, and we'll come right back. After you've done all that, it's gonna come up and ask for verification. Just follow the steps on the screen, very easy to do, and we'll be right back. After you verify that it's you, once you open up the YouTube app, only have to do say, yes, it's me. Then it's gonna come up to say, terms of service. Go ahead, click on that enter button, and accept. Over here, what I do is I uncheck both of these. I say turn off. I don't want to help them out. I don't want them to have any information. Then I go back up and click on accept. Wait for the screen to change. Now here it says get better voice control of your TV. Go ahead, click the enter button for continue. Search across all your TV apps. Go ahead, I say allow. You always can later on delete the apps that you don't want. Get personal results. I say no thanks. I turn that off. Get the most of your Google Assistant. Go ahead, click on yes. Here it's going to go ahead and download some apps that are pre-installed within the TiVo Stream 4K. You can download them all. You can uncheck them. Whatever you want to do, I'm just saying continue. Your TiVo Stream 4K is powered by Android. Go ahead, click the directional pad to the right. Get apps from Google Play, which is always good. Talk to Google Assistant, so that way when you do go into the apps, you don't have to type it out. All you gotta do is click on the colorful button, and all you have to do is say the app that you want, and it'll bring it right up for you. Cast to your TV, so that way you can go ahead and use your phone. If you have something special on your phone and you don't have it on your TiVo, you could go ahead and cast from your phone to your TV, and that's very nice also. Go ahead and click the directional pad. Let's move on to the next step. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and activate it. So what you need to go is TiVo.com forward slash activate forward slash stream 4K. Everybody's activation code is different, so I'm going to activate mine and we'll be right back. Now what happens after you go ahead and you activate it, the next page is gonna come up and say, create an account, it's all free. You could go ahead and do it, very simple. Or if you already have an account with your TiVo, just go ahead and sign in. Once you do that, then your screen on your TV will go ahead and change. 
Now let's get started. Three set simple steps. And let's continue. Click on continue and we'll move forward. Now they just want to know personalize your recommendations. So you can go to this here or you can go down to next pair. I like the walking dead. I'm going to say walking dead. And DeLorean, I'm going to choose. I'm going to go down, say next pair. Let's see what they have. Go back down again. Next pair. I'm going to choose the Godfather. First 48 is fine. This is all for demonstration purposes right now. Sopranos. And over here, I could keep going on or I could say finished. Add streaming originals to my shows. You could go ahead, go through this. You could click on something if you want. Or just say next. Click on next. Go down again. Click on next. Now, after you've done that, it's going to come up and say scanning for devices. Let us do its thing and we'll move forward. Next step comes up. You got to go ahead and set up your TV with the remote. So go ahead, click the enter button and say next. Give it a few seconds. Now let's go ahead and find the TV that you have. I have a Toshiba. I'm going to go ahead, click on that enter button. Now let's test the remote control. Go ahead, click on next. Press OK to test volume up. Go ahead, click OK. Yes, it worked, which is great. OK to test. Go ahead, click OK. Did it work? Yes, it did. Or no, it didn't. Or try again. Once that's done, it's going to say your TV is all set up. Go ahead, click on Next. Set up your remote with your audio. Go ahead, click on Next. Find the one that you have and then click on it. I have a Samsung soundbar. I'm going to go ahead, click on it. Let's go ahead, set it back up again and click OK. Did it work? Yes, it did. Just click yes. Now it comes back up and says your audio receiver is set up. Let's go ahead and click on that enter button on your device. Here we come to the home screen of our TiVo. Once we're on the home screen, go ahead and go up. Let's go over to the right. Let's go to where the gear is or settings. Go ahead, click on it. Let's go down. Go down to where it says device preferences. Go ahead, click on it. Click on about. Then you want to scroll down. Go down to where it says build. Click on it several times. And now it'll put you into developer mode. Go ahead and click on that home button on your remote. Now let's go back over to where apps is. Click to open. Go over to the right. Let's just type in downloader. Once you type in download it, go ahead and click on the magnifying glass for it to do the search. Give that a few seconds, let it search, but then its library comes right up because we already have it installed. But when we said, okay, yeah, go ahead and install the apps, download it was there. Let's click allow, then click OK. But first, before we even go into download it, let's go ahead, click on that home button on a remote. Let's go back up. Click on settings. Let's go down to where it says device preferences. Go ahead and click on that. Let's scroll down. Let's go to where it says developer options. Go ahead and click on it. Now what you want to do is go down to where it says Windows animation scale. Once you get down to where it says Windows animation scale, go ahead and click on it. Right now it's set for one. I like to go ahead and set it to 0.5. This makes things move just a little bit more faster when you're scrolling through your main page. Makes it a little bit more snappier. Scroll down one, go ahead, click on it. Same thing, set it to 0 0.5. Go down one more, go ahead and click on it. And again, set it to 0 0.5. Now let's go ahead, click on that home button on our remote. Come on down, let's go click on downloader. Now let's go get that customized launcher I was telling you about. Underneath enter a URL or a search term, Let's go click on it and let's type in the following code. You want to type in 218330. This is going to bring you to the time for streaming web page. Go ahead, click on the enter button. Let it switch over. Give it five seconds to do so. Once we're in the time for streaming web page, go over to the three lines, click on the three lines, then go down to where it says downloads. 
go ahead click on that enter button once it switches go ahead and scroll through feel free to download anything you like we have movie downloads some tv downloads keep scrolling sports adults ad blockers i recommend ad guard or if you're using ad blockers for only third-party apps and then app downloads let's go ahead now and click on wolf launcher give that a few seconds to go ahead and connect and download Right now, being that we didn't fully set up Downloader, let's click on Settings. Go ahead and click on it. Allow it so that way you can download third-party apps. Let's click on that back button. Click on Install one more time and let it install. Click Install again. Now you go, go ahead, you click on Done. Click on Delete. Click on Delete again. This just takes off the file from inside the Downloader app so it doesn't bog up your TiVo. Go ahead, click on that home button on your remote. Once we're back onto the home screen of the TiVo, right across from apps, go over to the right, go to the plus sign, click on it, go down. Here you go, see Wolf Launcher. Go ahead, click on it, puts it right back onto the main screen, right in you know, the first position. I wouldn't say first position, but if you want first position, just go ahead and hold down on that enter button, click on move, and then you can drag it all the way to the left and make it the first position. Go ahead and click on it and it'll stay right in place. Click on Wolf Launcher, give it a few seconds to go ahead and initiate, and it'll open up. And here you see, you don't see everything else. Right now, it's a nice customized launcher. You click on it and it gives you everything right at your fingertips. Now you don't have to worry about going across the app screen, scrolling to the right, scrolling to the right, and finding what you want. Just click on the Wolf Launcher, brings everything up at one time, gives you a nice view of all the apps that you have on your TiVo streaming. Go ahead, click on that home button on your remote. I hope you find this video very helpful and entertaining. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you use the TiVo Stream 4K. I know I still use it. I like it. Let me know if you use a Wolf Launcher or you don't use a launcher. You just go ahead and you scroll across the apps and click on the one that you want to use for today. Click on that like and subscribe button, ring that bell. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.